All right, hello everybody. So I'm uh, I'm John Sadowski. So I organize the U.S. branch of the Wiki Science Competition, which is a competition among uh, photographs and other images and videos which have to do with science. Oh, okay, is this good? Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to announce the uh, results of the most recent uh, uh, phase of it, which was in, uh, in 2023. Uploads were held during November and December. We got 460 contributions. And um, one of the interesting things, which is something that's been consistent every time we've done this, of the 32 people who were finalists to enter to advance the international competition, only five of them had previous uploads to comments. We bring in a lot of new people who just see the banner and upload a photograph. Um, so I'm going to show you, we have eight uh, national uh, awardees and I'm going to uh, go through them very quickly because we're already one minute in. This is, so this is an image of Andromeda, which is a very popular image, uh, very, a very, uh, a popularly imaged galaxy, uh, but it also, this is called Andromeda and Integrated Flux Nebulae, which is a type of nebula that was very recently discovered that's outside the plane of the galaxy. This image was made by six high school and college uh, students from around uh, the country and a couple internationally who uh, took data and combined their uh, data to produce this image. Oops. That is... There you go. The next one, this is a white bark pine forest in the Sierra Nevadas, of California. This species of tree is endangered. And um, this is a fairly intact grove of these trees and a very nice image as well. The next one is an illustration of crown shyness. This is a phenomenon okay. where the uh, tops, the canopy of each of these trees avoids each other. You can see there's a gap and it's not very well understood, but this also was taken by a high school student who noticed this, pointed their image up and uh, looked at it. So it's, it's a very good illustration of this. The next one, so this is, this is from the people in science is one of our uh, things. This uh, person is, his name is Fritz Goro. He is a very uh, well-known science photographer from the mid-20th century. This photograph was taken uh, in a laboratory where he was doing, I believe, uh, a Time or Life article on uh, the scientists who, uh, would, uh, uh, who were studying vision in monkeys and would later win the Nobel Prize for that work. Um, I'm going to point out that... Um, so one of the things that sometimes happens is people don't leave the uh, email of this user um, uh, activated, and often I can track them down from their, uh, you know, social media, but I was not able to track this person down. All that I know is that they graduated MIT in 1969 because they put that in the caption. And so if you have any ideas about finding these people, I really want to give them their $250 prize. The next, the next one is a set, so I'm going to cycle through these. This is of, uh, uh, it, of uh, threatened flora in Ohio. Um, and Ohio, of course, is neighbors Indiana. If you drive an hour and a half east from here, you're in Ohio. And these are a number of images of plants that are you know, imperiled or threatened. Some of these uh, exist only in, you know, literally in one or two places in, in the state of Ohio. And so you can see some of these are black box images and you know, some of these are out in the wild. This, this one is interesting. This is a culture of a stool sample um, in a laboratory. And this is interesting because in the write up, the, um, the uh, photographer said that you know, they uh, thought it looked like a sunset and it shows that you know, science can be beautiful even when it's disgusting. <laughs> This is a this is a hydra, which is a uh, primitive microscopic animal, and this is showing uh, the position of stem cells within the uh, within the uh, uh, animal. And it's you know, again a microscope. The yellow is the stem cells. The uh, purple is the extracellular matrix. And this is the last one. So this is the life cycle of a virus. And so this is a uh, this is a non photographic image. 
And what happens is the individual protein structures come from protein data banks. They come from publicly available you know, crystal structures and other structures. And the, uh, the uh, uh, person you know, kind of arranged them in such a way to show the life cycle of a virus that's infecting the bacteria. The first one is the virus uh, attaches to it. The second is it begins to make them uh, within the bacterium. And then the last one is the bacteria lyses or it breaks and releases uh, viruses, which then go to infect another bacteria. And so those are our eight uh, finalists. And I'm just going to finish up by uh, thanking our uh, jury. And, and the, uh, final, the other finalists you can see if you go to Wikipedia Wiki Science Competition in the United States 2013, you can see all the rest of our finalists. And I'm just going to leave with the list of the jury on the screen as I finish. So thank you very much.